Yes! You have to recharge wands with magical energy. If it goes to Skull, it'll be dead forever. Can't you just buy another charger? <gasps> of course! They sell them at Quest Buy. Quest Buy? Roar! <laughs> Welcome to Quest Buy! Attention Quest Buy shoppers, we have a red ticket special, 25% off of all things that murder. Ah! Ow! Whoa. Sample. Either take a sample or leave a sample. Up to you. Gross. We gotta hurry! You can talk to the creepy salesman later, Marco. Gnome repellent? Extra strength ghost heads? How do you find anything in this place? It only looks messy. Legend says that the founders of Quest Buy had an ancient cryptic system of symbols they used to organize the store. Some have gone mad trying to decipher it. I finally got it! Housewares is that way! <laughs> if there's a system here, I'm gonna use it to find the best route to the charger department. Lucky for you, I myself know my way around here pretty well myself. If I do say so myself, I think I just said too many myselfs. Ooh, that is getting a little too close for comfort. Margo, I don't mean to rush you, but it's been hours. If you don't find something soon, the card will expire and go to waste. You know it's hard for me to shop in public, plus I'm just not that into Quest Buy gear. <laughs> Margo! They have literally everything in the universe here. There has to be something you want. Please, hurry up! If you're going to rush me, then I'll just buy some piece of junk now and come back to exchange it later, okay? Huh? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> oh, yeah, that. I may have forgotten to mention that this is a friends to the end gift card. You have to truly, deeply want the item you spend it on or else it won't work. Star? Why would you give me a card like that? Because I wanted to get you something you really liked. <sighs> okay, fine. Just, uh, nothing in this section. Good, because I don't like you either. Well, I see why you're on sale. All right, all right. Uh, How about this? No, no. How about this? Too gaudy. How about one of these? Another keychain? I'll pass. Oh, how about one of these? Uh, maybe? Nah. How about this? Uh, star. You know the neck is gonna stretch out on that. Ow! All right, all right! I'm sorry, but I really can't decide under this kind of pressure. Maybe we can get an extension on the card. Well, we can try. Excuse me, I have a question. Not my department. But your customer service. Oh, uh, yeah. We really need to ditch that sign. Fine, how can I help you? Is there any way we can extend the expiration date on this card? Shouldn't be a problem. Uh, you know what? No. This is a friends to the end gift card. It's not only impervious to change, but when it expires, so do you. What? Like, we die? Jeez, everyone's gotta die sometime. This just guarantees that you'll die sooner. It's all here in the contract your friend signed. If you don't use it by midnight, zap. <laughs> Both of you get blasted into oblivion. Zap? Tell me again, Star. Why did you get me a card like this? I didn't know. I never read the fine print. I always read the fine print, Star. I mean, look at this contract. There's gotta be something we can do. No, sorry, dude. Um, dudes, you know, seeing as there's only a few hours left, you better go find something you really like. <laughs> Listen, let's just get back to your list. Look, 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 look. There's the dragon repellent. We need that, right? Ah, <sighs> yeah. Ugh, yep, that's the stuff. Yoo-hoo! Oh, no. Apparently, we've got dragons on aisle 14.2. Again. Shoo, shoo. This is not my department. <laughs> uh, please get off. Ah, uh, whoopsie. Did you mean to get this one? Easy mistake. They look so similar. You want to tell me why you're being such a jerk? Listen, wannabe. You think it's easy being a squire? 
all of my waking hours, I'm weaving chain mail, sharpening swords. I'm always at my knight's beck and call. I've even learned how to polish armor in my sleep. But what did you do to earn this job? Oh, nothing. It was handed to you because you're the princess's boyfriend. What? I'm not her boyfriend. Interesting. Guess it was handed to you out of pity then, huh? Uh, star! Marco! I'm here, Star. Under the dragon butt. Oh. Scram, lizard! Skit, skit, skit out! Well, I think that's enough fun for one squire. What say we call it a day, Marco? The sale's almost over anyway. No! There's still one thing left on my list, Star. Armor wax. There's just one bottle left. I called ahead to check. We have to get it before those other squires. Uh, Marco, no offense, but you're looking kind of sweaty. Like, sweatier than usual. Hey, maybe let's just, you know... Mount the cart! Okay! <gasps> Don't let them get that! <laughs> Oh, that's it! <laughs> yes! Marco! What? Uh... Oh, I didn't trip her that hard. What? She's faking it! Here. <laughs> Thanks for the wax, losers! Let's check out. Seriously? None of this stuff is safe for a baby. How about baby's first hidden poison capsule? What's safer than not having enemies because you poison them all? I am not giving the baby a pacifier filled with magic poison. Well, there's always a gift card. You have 8.5 minutes until expiration. <laughs> no. This gift has to be the perfect reminder of me since I might not be around much. <gasps> oh, I know! Atelier de Cobalt Ferrero. He works in the basement. Mr. Ferrero! What? Oh, your portraitness. Eh, uh, what do you want? My friend Marco here wants one of your legendary portraits. Is that right, Marco? Yeah, I'm starting to think this is a bad idea. Oh, Rich Pigeon. Sorry, didn't see you there. <laughs> Marco, that's a portrait. What? That piece, not even finished yet. Wow, he's so real, I can almost smell him. That's just the perch he posed on. That's foul. <laughs> Get it? Because he's a bird. It's the perfect gift. A portrait that realistic, it's like, I'll be there with my family, even when I'm not. I know, I know, I'm very talented, but we got a lot of work to do before the painting begins. I have to study you closely. I have to live with you, breathe with you, eat a lock of your hair. The process takes weeks, maybe months. Can't you do something faster? No, I never compromise my work. 650 cash. Sold. You need one of these things. A Scantron. And one of these. What? I don't have time for a pop quiz. It's an essence test, wise guy. The abridged version of me studying you for months. What kind of socks do you prefer with loafers? A, tube socks. B, ankle socks. How is this supposed to help with a portrait? <sighs> Whatever. I don't have time for this. <laughs> uh, Mr. Ferrero? All done. Let's make some art. What? Come on, come on, come on! Time's running out and my legs are asleep! Mm. Ah. She's done! I'm waiting for your brains to go gooey. Brains go gooey. Well, why didn't you tell him, Stu? You know that everybody who wanders back here's brain turns to goo. Oh, yeah. Sometimes Stu's brain goes gooey. <laughs> Classic Stu. Well, our brains feel fine, thank you very much. Well, yeah, they're fine for now. You're in a magical room that turns all your needless desires into pointless realities. 
your 16 wallets, your vibrant fashions, your, uh... Yeah, I don't know either, dude. So whatever we want just appears here. Pretty much. Cool. <laughs> Jana? I'm baby Marco, and I got wheels for hands. <laughs> Why? Because I can. <laughs> I'm baby Marco, and I got wheels for hands. <laughs> Jana. Aw, oh, come on. That was for you too, girl. See? Your brains just keep making stuff you want. You're never going to want to leave. Then your brains turn to goo. It happens to everybody that wanders back here. Oh, how did we not see all those cages? What kind of creepy stuff are you pulling here, bub? We're just keeping these people safe. They can leave whenever. They just don't want to leave their stuff. Well, I'll start getting your cages ready. Oh, you hear that, guys? He's getting our cages ready. Yeah, it's like he thinks this is the first time we've been trapped in a back room. Hey, my dude. We're pros at these, uh, situations. I don't think we're gonna need the cages. Yeah, we're just gonna head on out. Sure, the exit's right over there. But you're never going to make it without filling up these shelves with needless desires. <laughs> okay, bub. Feels like you're not really getting who we are. We don't need stuff. I mean, sure, a little dancing penguin baby would be tight. Yeah, that's pretty tight. But I don't really need it. Yeah, and I've always wanted a talking bike named Wheelie. I'm right here, Marco. But Wheelie's not really what's important. What? Huh? And I think we all want an evil Marco with a mole on the other side of his face. I am Okram! I think we want hundreds of Okroms. I am Okram! But we don't really care. Look, I'm sure a lot of people get caught up in whatever this is, but we are not a lot of people. We're three people. We've got everything we want right here. Come on, guys, let's get out of here. <laughs>